Brianna, my wife. Martha's Jack's ex. Oh, it's great to finally put a face to the name. Sorry we've never had a chance to meet before, but Ash has been keeping me up to date with you and Jack. Yeah, I'm sorry too. <laughs> what a fantastic place. <laughs> we were just going to go for a drink. Why don't you join us? Uh, no, I was just going for a walk. Oh, so. don't be silly. It's great to finally meet some of Ash's other friends. We could go to the surf club. Yeah, OK. Or m maybe we should go to the diner. The staff's friendly. Outside. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, it's better yeah. menu for the kids as well. Great. <laughs> Come on, guys. Come on, Dick. Stop it. You asked for big. I thought I told you to use the back door. Relax, babe. There's no one else out there. Enough of that. We have work to do. So what do you think? I do good? Very good. What about the card? Mm-hmm. So, um, remind me again how making Peter think Amanda is having an affair is going to inspire him to propose. Because if it were me, I wouldn't be proposing. Lucky it's not you then, isn't it? Hmm. Come on, are you going to tell me or not? Trust me, Ethan. If all goes according to plan, Peter will be on his knees begging my sister to marry him by the end of the day. The kids really miss him when he's away. You play up like you wouldn't believe. Exactly, you put a hole in it, so it's going to squirt water at me when you drink it. <laughs> you know, mind now. They're not the only ones who miss him either. <laughs> Jack used to work such long hours, I know how you feel. Still, I shouldn't complain. As long as he comes home safe and sound, that's the main thing. I'm sorry to hear that you and Jack broke up. These things happen. There's no chance of you two. No, we've both moved on. So you guys still hungry? Because there's some really nice cakes over there, and if you're full, you can't have them. <laughs> I want one. You want one? Yes. Okay, go and choose which one you want. This is the other downside dash being away so often. He spoils us rotten when he sees us. Come on, guys. Let's choose something. I'm so sorry. This is not meant to happen. She's got no idea, does she? It's me, remember? I'm the one that's not happy. Yeah, there's no sign of that either. We'll be over soon. I don't think I can take this anymore. Can we just just get through this and we'll talk about it later? Sticky date or chocolate? Chocolate. Why do I even bother asking? <laughs> Martha, do you want something? Okay. Hey. Hey. How was lunch? Lunch was great, but it probably had more to do with the company than the food. <laughs> what are you reading? Oh, romance. I didn't pick you as the type. I've got to get it from somewhere, don't I? <laughs> the flowers are amazing, by the way. What? It's got nothing to do with me. <laughs> it must be from her other boyfriend, then. <laughs> what is it? Thanks for a great time, love, Jeremy. Who's Jeremy? Oh, it must be a mistake. It happens all the time. Yeah, especially to Amanda. So if we do have any more kids, I'm going to build a whole west wing of the house that I can close off completely. Oh, it's a bit harsh. Yeah, Mum, you're the noisy one. Oh. <laughs> this coming from Generation Xbox here. The surround sound. Here you go, Martha. Is the coffee OK? Oh, yeah, I guess I didn't really feel like it. I like your earrings. Yeah, they're pretty. Where'd you get them? They were here. Um, sorry guys, I've got to get going to see Rick, but um, it was lovely to meet yeah. all you guys. <laughs> see you later. Bye. Yeah. It's not his family, you should stay here. Why don't you just give her a call? Because I'd rather discuss it face to face. Peter, there is no way Amanda is cheating on you. She adores you. Let's just say I need to be sure. Of okay? course you do. And really, who can blame you? I mean, we both know that Amanda can be her own worst enemy. Meaning what? Well, she was still married to Dan when she first started seeing you. But th that was years ago. Hey, people change. History doesn't have to repeat itself. Let's just see what Amanda has to say. Carol, I'm back. Oh, hey, what are you doing home? You get off work early? Yeah, a little too early, apparently. What? Did you guys have a fight? I'm just going to go put the kettle on. What's going on? Who's Jeremy? I give up. You tell me. Don't play games with me, Amanda. 
Peter, I have no idea who Jeremy is. Really? You see, that's strange, because he certainly knows who you are. Enough to send you flowers and love notes, anyway. Look, honestly, I have no Amanda, idea... Amanda, just tell me what the hell's going on. They've gone back to the city. Well, I'll say it again, I'm so, so sorry. I had no idea they were coming. There's no way I would have put you through that. Don't apologise. I'm glad I met Rihanna. She's lovely. So is Jessica and Declan. Martha. And you, you were incredible. Like it was the most normal thing in the world to be sitting at the same table as your wife and your kids and your lover. Don't say How that. How could you betray Rihanna like that? And those beautiful kids. I can't. That's why I'm leaving. Are you? Are you really? Martha, yes, absolutely. Because I don't think I can do this anymore, Ash. It's not fair on anyone. Martha, please. No, it needs to stop. Just listen to me. For years, I just... See, I blamed work and the lack of money and the fact that... You know, we were so young. But then I came here and I met you. And I worked it all out. See, I don't love Rihanna. I never have loved her. Because I'm in love with you. And I'll tell her tomorrow, I swear I will. If you're going to break up with her, go ahead and do it. But I can't be with you until you do. She thinks her sister is so sweet. But what wicked plan is she plotting now? My darling sister isn't going to know what hit her. Plus, will she admit her feelings for her ex? We love each other and that's all that matters. No, we don't. Before he finds someone else, home and away, tomorrow at 7. And don't miss our experience.